All right, so this video is a PSA announcement about Cloudflare and the support nightmare hell that I'm actually going through at this particular point. And so I'm doing this video uh, more as a, I don't know what else to do, honestly. And I'm trying to figure out what are my next options. So I thought I'd do a video just to kind of warn people about the potential problems that you could run into with Cloudflare. And hopefully it helps you in some way I don't know if that'll help me in my particular situation right now, but let me explain what's really happening. So first of all, I, I want to be clear about this video. I'm not trying to bash Cloudflare here. I think it's actually a great company. I think they've done really well. I've been actually being a fan boy of Cloudflare as a company for probably about eight to 10 years now, like for, or as far as I can remember, a really long time. And so this problem that I'm running into, it's really, really painful to know that this is the type of service that you can get or expect. Um, and frankly, I just don't know what to do. Now, to put some um, perspective, I'm not a big customer for Cloudflare or anything of the sort. So, you know, th that's probably one of the problems, but I'll show you that I'm also willing to pay and, and, and can't, and I'll, I'll prove that to you in a bit. Um, there's just nothing I could do at this particular point and I'm, my hands are just tied behind my back with no real clear information. That's the problem here. So let's talk about this and what's going on. Okay. So first of all, I have all of my domain names with Cloudflare, all of them. Well, let's rephrase that. I have most of my domain names with Cloudflare. So um, back in the day, I used to be a huge GoDaddy fan and so um, I had all of my domain names with GoDaddy and I still have quite a bit of domain names with GoDaddy. However, of recent years, Cloudflare has announced that they are now a register. And so I started slowly transferring only my main domain names over to Cloudflare. Sorry, let me just pause that for a second. That was my four o'clock alarm. So uh, I've transferred most of my domain names over to Cloudflare. And then from there, my domain name essentially manages all my DNS. Now, if you're not familiar with any of this stuff, um, this video is probably not for you, but I'll, I'll try to explain it in a little bit simple English if I could uh, find my pen here. All right, so let me explain what I mean by register and DNS. So at least there's some, some level set in terms of like the information, etc. So let's go whiteboard this and we'll talk about just how things are kind of set up in general. Just so you understand, if you're new to this, what not to do, because this is actually a really big problem. And in fact, this is the lesson learned from this particular uh, situation that I'm experiencing. So generally speaking, when you register a new domain name, you go to a register, G-I-S-T-A-R, right? It's so a register. So a register would be something like GoDaddy. Uh, go away. Right, so register would be like GoDaddy or um, I don't know, Hostgator. Or I don't know. There's so many of them out there, domains or something, whatever. Domains or us or whatever. Like there's just a many of them. So you could register your domain name here. Okay. Once you do that, so let's just say that your domain name is dub 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 dot my site dot com. Okay. So let's just say that that's your domain name. Uh, generally speaking, what you do is you point, the first thing that you do is you point um, what they call the name server, NS, okay? Those name servers determine where to look for um, the all of the, the D DNS records. So basically the um, domain, it's a kind of, a, think of it as a lookup table. That's the easiest way to describe it, right? So. Um, this has your email configuration, this has your website configuration, this has all the details, right? So generally speaking, when you register your domain name with GoDaddy, you kind of keep these as one unit. So your NS servers is normally GoDaddy. I'm just gonna put GD for short, okay? So your NS server is normally GD. And then basically in GoDaddy, they will give you a place where you could enter those records for all of your lookup information, right? Which is normally to configure your email and configure other additional domain names all in GoDaddy. The issue with that is that whenever somebody's coming to visit your website, um, they kind of have they have to hit GoDaddy servers, and then GoDaddy server has to point to um, reroute that person to what it, wherever your website is. Okay, and that's all perfectly fine or whatever the deal is. The problem is is that 
GoDaddy's business is not in the in the same in the business of sustaining and managing really complex and large websites. So here comes a service like Cloudflare. I'm gonna put C, um, CF for short. So here comes a service like Cloudflare, and Cloudflare, um, what they will do is basically they will take over your name name server. So they says, hey, instead of pointing your stuff to name to GoDaddy, why don't you point your domain your name server to our system and what we're going to do is you're going to take that table you're going to put it over into our system and then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to keep uh, track of all those records etc but you get some additional benefits and those benefits are as follows number one is um our sort of like servers are global so this is my representation of the globe here Africa and right and China and whatever else right so 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 our servers are global all over the place so what happens is the minute somebody tries to type in a website that you're trying to go to it's gonna hit one of our servers first and when it hits our servers first then our system is really fast and it's gonna route you on our backbone network to the specific website that you're going plus we're gonna check it to make sure that it's not like fake traffic or bots or any of that kind of stuff. So there's a significant amount of benefit to going with Cloudflare. And for this reason, I've been a Cloudflare fan for a really, really long time. So all of my domain names, my main domain names, have their NS records, their, reg um, their DNS re record information inside of Cloudflare. So that's sort of like the premises here. So you can understand this conversation a little bit more in case you're not familiar with this stuff. Now, where it gets crazy, is a few years ago Cloudflare started being a registrar. Okay, so in other words, they're competing now with GoDaddy. And there was the promise of hey, uh, one, they're cheaper because they don't really do this, they just do it at cost. And so I figured, okay, well, for my main domain names, for the ones that I really, really care about, you know what? I'm going to move it over from GoDaddy. And I'm going to transfer it over to Cloudflare, which is exactly what I did. And that's exactly the point of this conversation, which is the mistake that I made. And I'm doing this as a public service announcement because this is a really, really bad mistake. And it's not something that I necessarily thought about at the time until I'm in this position right now and realizing that this is a problem. Because essentially what I've done is put all my eggs in one basket, for lack of a better word. So the problem here is that now I have a major problem with Cloudflare, major, major problem. I can't even stress this. I shouldn't even be on this video right now. I should be dealing with this YouTube, but the truth is I don't have a lot of options on my hands. So the problem is, is that my domain name in Cloudflare has expired, just expired. Um, and it's a long story reason why it got expired at the notifications, yada, yada, yada. And um, some reason, for some reason, my account is also given an error. Okay, so I'm unable to register, re renew this domain name, which means that Cloudflare is starting to block all of my traffic. Now, the problem with this scenario is that I, I just have nothing else to do but to go to support and try to deal with it, etc., etc. And so that's what I want to kind of show you in the second half of this video, what I'm experiencing and why I'm making this claim that you do not want to be in this position ever. And frankly, Cloudflare support really, really sucks. I've seen stories, horror stories about Cloudflare support hell before in the past. So I'll give you an example. Um, so I have an example here of, uh, this is two years ago, by the way. So this this person, and I'm going to put out one of these messages as well on Reddit because I just don't know what to do. Like, um, So this guy says, I really don't know um, you know, what to do anymore. I'm trying to get a hold of someone at Cloudflare, blah, 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 because of trust and etc. This seems to be an ongoing problem. This seems to be Cloudflare, when it comes to support, just really, really sucks. So you could read this on your own. You could pause the video and kind of thing. And anyway, the point is, is that um, people are having a really hard time trying to deal with them. And finally, the guy said that yes, it ended up working and gave an update and et cetera, et cetera, but 25 hours and that's what it took to kind of get something done. So here's my support. And I'm actually gonna show you what the US is. So this is my actual Cloudflare account. 
and let me just give you some indication so you understand how big of a problem it is so if I go to my domain names here and go to me it says here expired okay um, now I found out the real reason why it was thing is because one of my cards that was on this account was failing um, and I think I, I have an idea of suspicion was going but first let me just show you what the problem is first so you could understand it in, in detail so if I go to manage okay, it was like well you know just renew the account it gives me an error just an error doesn't say any single thing it just says we have an error okay retry it, I guess is the only button that you can do which which doesn't even seem to do any single thing by the way but sure let's say that that's the case there okay um, now I'm gonna go to uh, my bill in here and I'm gonna show you the history just so it's like okay I have one unpaid invoice dollar 88 right um, so for some reason this this charges didn't go through so it's like okay fine download that invoice try to pay it and so I did that okay and try to put that invoice down see if it could maybe that's the issue right so unpaid blah 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 try to pay the invoice link is expired because it's been there for too long so I don't know if that's the problem so it seems like that that seems to be the issue but so here so now here's let me show you what the what the issue is now so I'm 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 at sort of a standstill I can't do any of those things so let me show you if I even try to go to transfer domain name just transfer domain name page no, nothing else I'm not even trying to do anything with a specific domain I'm just trying to go to the transfer domain page it says your account is being blocked for um, from performing this action why no idea no notification no heads up just that's it that's just just why so I'm like okay well clearly I could get some support so now I'm gonna try to do the support thing and it's like well you know you gotta go through all this stuff which is fine that's, that's not a big deal submit the ticket okay so I did this I'm not gonna go through this on the this particular call but um, did this Cloudflare register go through the, the standard support problems domain name transfer renewal issue um, it's affected by the domain names I have lots of domain names as you can see okay so go through all of that, fill out all the details, submitted a ticket. Um, that was that was quite a, a while back. So that ticket has been sitting here. And just be clear, this is a major issue. So they, this has been this has gone over to their Salesforce ticketing situation. And here. So I have a name, case. This is the actual ticket, right? Unable to renew the error. Here's what I'm getting, blah, blah, blah. No, I, I had to mention this because they sent me, they have an automated support automation. We couldn't find the record you're trying to access. But now the user didn't want to be. That's so, so strange. I don't even know so they sent me an automated message here it says we've detected that this is a domain that you're looking for that's not the domain name that I'm trying to go after the domain name I, I'm going after is exactly in the thing so they sent me a generic email this is the original here and um, I have no options just 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 have no options. just just sitting here waiting like lame duck trying to get a support uh, ticket open and there's just been no absolutely nothing absolutely nothing no response no so my next thought is well okay there must be some other way for thing no mind you I, I've I've never really had to pay for for some of the cloud for thing because it, frankly their free pl plans are so generous in terms of what they do I'd be happy to pay um, for some of the higher services so the next plan is all well, the very next obvious thing as well because you you're not a paid customer so I said okay fine now what if, what if I just what if I just upgraded my account so I go to contact support no sorry I go to where am I going I'm going to um, going to plans no 
that's not where I'm gonna go. So there is a section, let me see if I could find it. Domains, manage, this is error here. So, okay, maybe it's on the home page. I'm trying to remember where it is, but give me a second here. So somewhere on this section, there is a prompt that that prompts you to upgrade your account because that seems to be the next best thing. It's like, well, I understand that I'm a, you know, let's call me a cheap customer. Let's just be real about it, right? So they don't have any, any incentive to try to get things done. Now, let me just pause and try to find that link. Right, okay, so if you go to support and you go to contact support, right here, it says other ways to contact support, live chat. I was like, great, I want that. Whatever that is, I want it, okay? So you have to upgrade to the business plan. Sure, fine, no problem. Okay. There. So business plan, 200, and 200 bucks a month. If you do annually, I'm not gonna do annually, right? 250 bucks a month. Pro plan, $25. Okay, fine. It's expensive, but you know what? I'm desperate. I need the help, so I'm gonna upgrade, right? 100% SLA, 24-7 chat support, blah, 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 support. Okay, that's, that's, that's what you're paying for. Look at this. Upgrade now, blah, 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 blah. Purchase, fail. Right, so there's nothing that I can do here, right? We're unable to charge your pl uh, change your plan at the moment. Now, my suspicion is that there's that unpaid bill that's causing the issue, but again, I can't pay that bill because it's expired and there's there's just nothing I can do. So the dollar fifty that's on the account, I just can't pay. So I get this message, right? For assistance, right? Upgrade code, refer to this upgrade code, and here. So what are my options? Call support, right? I just like, I'm literally SOL. Just there's, there's literally nothing that I can do here. So I, I, I'm just in a tailspin. I have no real recourse and I'm trying to figure out what are my options and what to do. So I, I, I'm just using this as a lesson learned moment to make it sort of a very clear PSA announcement that if you're going to be doing registration with any company, I think for that matter, but specifically in this Cloudflare situation, is the place that you register your domain name, right? Um, your register, let's just put R, okay? So this is your GoDaddy, right? Or whatever services it is you're using. Uh, keep your domain names separate and then point it over to your DNS server. This is my takeaway here, to your DNS server. So so I'm more than happy, we'll find out after this situation gets resolved whether I'm gonna keep my DNS at Cloudflare. I think they're a great service, I think they're fine, but there's just a caveat here when it comes to support. So Cloudflare, okay? And I think what I'm going to do going forward is, is any single record that I put into my DNS I'm also going to re replicate that as a backup on my register. Now, you're gonna ask me the question of, well, that's kind of pointless because your DNS, your um, your name server is pointing to Cloudflare, and that is 100% true. However, in a specific case like this, where, where I'm getting no, um, support from Cloudflare, right? Because their support team just sucks. Okay, so this is their support team. Just putting a big X on them. At least I have a replication. So at least I have a recourse, which is, for whatever reason, there's some sort of error within my domain name service. At bare minimum, I could come back to my GoDaddy and change my NS record to point back to itself, aka GoDaddy, and temporarily resolve that problem right um godaddy i'm going to argue has way better customer support right they're custom dealing with hundreds of small very very small businesses um whereas cloudflare you know you probably have to be an enterprise customer in order to be able to for them to to get back to you 
Um, I, I, I'm at this particular point, I'm perfectly happy to upgrade to their $250 a month plan if that's going to get me customer support. But the point is my account isn't trapped in a situation where it's in this tailspin and there's nothing I can do about it. And this is a really, really, really big problem. So uh, I, the, tr the truth is I don't know what to do. The only single recourse that I have at this particular point is we've been changing our applications to just reroute to one of our other domain names for now um, so that we can kind of get things going. But the truth is, is that this is just a, just a, it's just a crap show. So with that, uh, hopefully you got some, some value out of this video. Hopefully at my peril, you have gained some insight into what to do to set up your uh, DNS properly. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.